What is up, everybody? It's your boy Rogue here. So, you guys gave me my super thanks request on my last video. So, now you guys will receive my hero deck profile, my blind second hero profile. I took the regionals. Um, as you guys already know, I went five and four with this list. However, I started off the event really well, undefeated 3 0. We took our lunch break, came back from the lunch break, and I kept losing my game threes against goofy decks like Dragon Link. Um, against like that one deck, the Punk Therion, they just locked me out of my turn play by playing unfair cards like Hot Red, Calamities, and I brick twice. So, I mean, bricking twice in game three, like drawing double Mally, for example, and then getting hit with some goofiness like with cards that like, say you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! No matter what deck I would have been playing, I would have won 5-4 regardless, just based on those scenarios, regardless. So, considering this is a rogue deck, um, a solid tier 2 borderline tier 1.5 deck i think i did really well um also i was unprepared for a lot of matchups at the regions like the punk therian for example um i did lose against predator and despia because he just had the outs game three and i do know if i was prepared for those matchups i would have done better and my side deck would have been a little bit different but nevertheless this is the list i'm just gonna shoot straight into the video if this video gets 500 likes or two super thanks i would do a breakdown analysis of some combos for heroes of this build and I will also do a test hand video within the next 24 hours so if this video gets two super thanks within the next 24 hours I'll definitely do a um, hand testing video which will show you guys um, break down the combo so you guys want these videos man you guys gotta so support you to 500 likes or two super thanks all right so three stratos staple um, I think everybody is com coming to see why I run three stratos you know for a while some people was running one and three Vion you want three because you can pop back row. Popping back row is very crucial for this deck. Like a lot of the times you do, you start off with Ferris, go Ferris and increase. Normal so much Stratos. That's two back row popped right there. So it's really good. Um, one Honest Neos. This is go second. Um, you can OTK. Even if I was playing go first, I like Honest Neos. I don't understand. I know some people have been cutting it. Like the guy that um, won Greek Nationals cut it. But I think Honest Neos is too powerful of a card. But if you're running a go first focused build, like... 100% go first, I can see why this is a dead card. So, um, however, if you're running like a deck like decks like me, I like to run go first and or go. I like to run either go second builds and or builds that can go first or second. So, honestly, this is a staple. Ain't nothing like a 4900 Dark Law. Two Shadow Mists. Um, three is too many. One is too little. Two is just right. Two Vions because we're running three Stratos. This is my favorite ratio. There is times where I wish I was running three Vions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't, however. Two hasn't let me down. It's been good. Two increase. Um, I know a lot of people say you can run one. Do what you want. Me, personally, I like the two because I've had a lot of games where I just draw the one and half of your combos are shut off. And drawing two rarely happens. Um, it did happen to me at Locals this past week. However, that rarely happens. I mean, drawing one, I feel like it could rarely happen as well. But you're more than likely to draw one if you run one versus drawing two if you draw two, if that makes sense. I've tested drawing one bill, and for whatever reason, I was drawing that one the entire day, the entire tournament, and I just took it out and pinned it up to draw two. Three Ferris, best combo starter in the deck, nothing more to be said. One Liquid, this card's expensive for a reason. It's the best draw card in the deck, like, it's, it's insane. Um, yeah. One Denier, two Malice for the Destiny Hero engine. The whole goal is just to make DPE. Uh, we cut Dangerous from the extra deck, so these are just, they make DP, that's all, that's, that's, that's their purpose, they make DP, that's it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty much, Denier makes you, makes it like for you to have three Malleys. We don't even need three Malleys, honestly, because, like, I think this is perfect for just heroes, because Denier and Malley just good. So, yeah, man, this, this engine is really good. One of Dusty Go, this is Go second. If I was running a super Go first focus build... I would cut a Dusty Gold. I found myself citing him out a lot going first specifically. Um, but th with that being said, if I knew I was going second, I would side him in. So if you guys ever play a go first build, I would just take this out of the main deck, put him in the side deck, and you're good to go. It's a good card, man. So searchable red gacky. Like, why wouldn't you run that? And the boss monster is unaffected by card effects. Look, can't be destroyed by card effects, and he can't be destroyed by battle. So why wouldn't you run that? Three Ash Blossom is the best card in the form. One of the best cards in the format right now. It stops everything. Three mass change, a staple. I find myself sometimes siding out one mass change because a lot of the times going second, you don't need three, you can brick. Um, so yeah, this card's really good. Two triple attacks. 
Um, I never wanted a third one. I considered it before the regionals, but I think two is good. Um, it's just a good card. You know, everyone's using card effects on your turn nowadays, so you can just triple tax them, eat a card out of their hand, and pop off, and or triple tax to draw two. I mean, it's just a solid card right now. Like, a lot of hand traps going on, a lot of monster effects in your opponent's turn going on. It's one of the cards that you just kind of need to run this format, in my opinion. Dark Calling for the Dust to Go. Change of Heart, man. This card is so good. Um... Once you use it, especially in the Go Second build, people have to use have, they have to do so they have to answer this card. Especially against decks like Sora Soul, which take their bear on the floor, they're gonna have to negate. One of the best cards in the deck. Um I didn't draw it as much as I would like. However, the time I did draw it, I didn't hate it because especially when playing as like Despias might like, change the heart Mirror J, they're gonna have to chain Mirror J banish himself. And then that's when you lead into an OTK. Or if they have like a level four monster on the field, for whatever reason, people believe in level four monsters, like a Moria on the field or whatever, you can change it hard, take their monster, pop off and go for game. Or if you can't pop off, you can um, exceed summon into Baguska, which I am running in the extra deck. Two Lightning Storms, this card was insane, bro. <laughs> Best pickup for the deck, man. Um, it was a game at Regionals where this dude just, he ended on Mirror J set four. And I'm just like, I'm gonna ruin his day. Lightning Storm, he was like, Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I, I felt his pain, bro. Yeah, this card's insane, bro. Go second decks, gotta have it. Three droplet, um, this card's insane. Staple of the format. Be aware against Predator Plant Despia. If they have, for example, three monsters on board, don't do what I do and, and pitch three cards and negate all three monsters. Pitch two. Reason being, um, my opponent, I played... Um, I think in round eight of the regionals or round seven of the regionals. I literally, I did Hero Lives, Chain Droplet, sent Mally, Mist, and Hero Lives, and they gave three monsters. And he did the Predator Plant Fusion, made two monsters instead of having three monsters on board. And that fizzled out my Droplet because the Droplet has to rule. And like, if you discard three or four, for example, but they, and they number of monsters in their field change, it fizzles out. So um, if you know for a, a fact that you don't really have to negate everything. You just negate this one guy. Just go for the one guy if they have multiple cards on the board because they're not going to bore about their entire field. So just a little food for thought, man, because that cost me the game, honestly. Like, if I would have just resolved that droplet properly and he didn't play around a droplet smartly, I would have won. Two Fusion Destiny staple. We'll probably get it back at three at one point. Three Hero Lives. Best card. Th best thing Konami could have done for Hero players. I've been drawing this card all day. It's best combo starter, et cetera, et cetera. One poly, one miracle to round up the deck at 40 cards. All right, we're going to do extra deck inside. Um, I ran Trinity just because I've been running home on Master Duels on my gold second build because I had extra spots on my uh, main deck. And I've been loving it. Um, this is a good card, man. Like, I, I actually pulled it off one game. I think I forgot against who. Because I was too lazy to do a full combo. Like, I was going to win regardless. But, like, I mean, like, I'm going to make Trinity. I don't feel like going to my extra deck. Hit my opponent for 7,500 for game twice. Shiny because... One of the drivers is a light, and a lot of times I'll be using Shining to recycle my Stratos and Liquid, so that works. Escaritos for when you do Fusion Destiny, get locked in the darks. Ab Zero for the Liquid. Two Dark Laws. Malicious Bane for the Dust of Gold. Blast for the Stratos uh, Mass Change play. DPE, best card in the deck. Shining, one of the best cards in the deck. It's an OTK enabler. Dread Decimator, one of the best cards in the extra deck. People sleep on this card, man. He has um, Trample ability. I know some hero players cut it. I like it because... He boosts up your field, and he tramples, so when people try to stall you out, they're not stalling out with Dread Doesn't Matter. I literally, I've had a game before at a regionals where I had like 10, 11 different heroes in grave. I had Honest Neal's in hand, and he was at 36, and I had um, Sunriser pop, pumping him up, and it was like a minute left on the clock, and I won due to t in time by just trampling over my opponent's monster and, and Honest Neal's damage that for game. Really good. One driver for the combos. With um for DP Sunrise a combo, which is a really good combo. Two cross resetter, I go into two a lot. Sometimes I want to go into three. Some people cut it down to one. I like two. I think that's the best ratio. One by Guska for those change of hard plays. Um I didn't get to use it at the regionals, however. I found myself at locals a lot coming up in a in a um in a way where it's kinda like I want to change a heart and I and my, my hand's kinda bad because I have like a brick hand with a shadow miss and a change of heart. And I could just end I can end on like a back Guska. Um, I saw a guy in the OCG was using it, so I decided to test it out. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use it. It could have came up one game, but I had an OTK play, so why would I make back Oscar when I get his OTK? And so, yeah, that's my um, extra deck. I like my deck. Deck played really well. 
Side deck, one Dark Angel for going first against Despia. Two draws, I'm bumping us up to three. Car was so insane at the regionals. It just, like I said, I wasn't prepared for the, um, the new meta. Three D-Barriers, Car was insane. Helped me win the game against, um, what's that ritual deck? I can't think of. Dry Shrines, there we go. Three Diddy Crow, this car is dead, bro. I'm making this on my side deck. Um, it's still good against some versions of Despia, like when they do Brandon and Red play, but I didn't side it out once at the regionals. Even against the Predator Plant Despia builds, like, I never felt the need to side it. You feel me? Two Twin Twisters. Uh, really good for back row decks. Sorry about that. I don't know what is going on with my phone. Uh, three Token Collectors. Staple card of the format. Oh, my God. This is so annoying. Stop freaking messaging me. So, so annoying. Okay. And Red Reboot to round off my um, side deck. So, 15 card side. Um, really powerful. And, yeah, man. This is my um, hero deck profile in detail. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. Like the video if you're new here. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Also, remember, guys, if you guys want that, um, that hero test hand slash combo video, two super thanks for 500 um, likes to um, get that video. Also, make sure to check out my channel sponsors in the description down below. I got tons of discount codes for you guys to help you guys out. And if you guys plan on buying any cards to build your own hero deck, please check out my TCG player link. It helps me out a lot. Um, I'm just technically a full-time YouTuber now, along doing YouTube alongside my um my other gig, Instacart, so every little bit helps. All right, it's your boy Rogue, and I'm signing out, man. Peace and stay innovative. Deuces. You guys have a great rest of your day.